and swim if you want to. Alligators may live here. You ain't gotta tell me once. I ain't finna get in nobody water. Look at all that over there. Ain't no way in the heat high hell you gonna catch me out there. Y'all, it's 7.50 this morning and we just not leaving our um, Walmart drop off. Walmart distribution center is right back there. And we are on our way up out of here. Everybody getting their stuff together so they can head on out. And there goes some more water. I was just going for a swim. You go by yourself. I said you. I ain't going by myself. Wait on me, you gonna be going by yourself. Turn left on US 17. Y'all, we are at a pilot that has a Walmart right over there. Hey, y'all, we are in Punta, Florida. I guess I'm pronouncing that right. But um, we are at the pilot that is right across the road, like right over there. We see those cars coming from. That's where the pilot is. We walked over here to the Walmart. Right now, I think it is a little bit after 11 o'clock in the morning. And um, we don't have to pick up a load until tomorrow. So we decided to get up out that truck and get us in some exercise. And at the same time, see what Walmart have. So if I um, find anything in here, y'all already know. I'm gonna turn y'all back on and I'm gonna show you guys what I found. About to go look around. Five dollars. Y'all into the cups. These are five dollars. They cute. But I don't need no more cups. They got the Hicks Edges, Hicks Edge control on sale for nine dollars. I paid $14 for mine, and I'm down to the last fingerprint. <laughs> so I'm about to grab this. This is some pretty good gel. And this how it look. Look like this one already got fingerprints in it. So I'm about to grab another one. This one got a removable cap. So I'm gonna check this one out. The other one didn't have no removable cap. So let's see. This one is good. This one don't have a fingerprint. So we're going to get this one. And I'm gonna get this Murray's Edge Wax. Oh yeah, this is on sale for $3. Let me take y'all back around here so I can show y'all the uh, for sale price. I done moved over to the next aisle. Let's go back over here. Y'all see those yellow tags y'all see the yellow tags that mean that they are on clearance um, right here hold up it said it was 5.97 but it might be talking about in this box right here maximum screen edge wax let's see this is the same thing. Extra hold. I don't know. It might be talking about this. And then they got a dollar for the Maurice Wax. And over here got $3. So I don't know. I'm just going to grab both of them and we're going to find out when we get to the counter. Because I ain't about to come back here and just change. So we're going to get both of them. I think I'm going to get this. Bow Wow Twist King 
Bush. Ant. Sorry about that. I had a flying ant crawling on my basket. But anyway, like I was saying, I'm gonna go see if Hood wants this um Bow Wow Twist King brush. He's trying to try something different. I'm gonna go see if he wants this. This sponge brush made a little different from the rest of the brushes. Let me see if they got one like the old ones. See the old sponge brush. Y'all look at this um Pro Wax warmer. $35. I don't need one, but I do like the color. I already have a wax warmer. I like those colors though. It's really, really cute. They got the testers of dossier. I have a lot of these already. Most of these empty. I don't have fruity almond. I would like to know how they smell, but the bottle is empty. We got a lot of more testers. And we got a lot more down here. Like I said, most of these bottles are empty. Starting from $29. Going on sale for $17.50. So none of these are over $50. So that's a good price. So Hubs found this little 12 inch aluminum ramp kit. It's on sale for five dollars. Just gotta buy the um two by four. Heading back to the truck stop. Y'all Walmart is full today. Everybody out here needs free shopping. Now we're heading on back across the street to the truck stop. Nineteen sixty nine. What type of car is this? A Dodge Dart? Yeah, that's a nice car. Oh, yeah. Probably worth a little penny. Oh, yeah, it worth a penny. Y'all, we're getting close. We almost we made it back to the, the highway. Let me so show y'all what I got. I got some Hawaiian sweet sub rolls. I got the chicken and cheese torquitos. These things right here are really, really good. 42 counts. I got a two pack of the Scromboni. This is the Italian style combination. Hubs like these. I got the two in a pack um, Edwards Turtle Cream Pie. And I also got the two in a pack Key Lime Pie. So I get one and Hub get one. One of each. I got the five pound bag of the potatoes. Irish potatoes, ash potatoes, Idaho potatoes. I got three of the Equate Wipes. One, two, three. I'm gonna leave these in the bag. Cubs got that thing what I was telling y'all about in the store. And I did pick up this little Bow Wow um, sponge brush for Hubs. And I got my um, Hicks Edge Control. And I also got the uh, Murray's Edge Control. And I got a bag of hot fries, but I already threw them in the top bunk and I don't feel like going to get them. But yeah, that is the Walmart haul. So um, I'll probably see you guys in the next clip. I have my bag of potatoes. I done peeled five potatoes. I'm about to cut them up and wash them. I got two eggs in here. I'm using my Ninja. I'm prepping these potatoes for to make some potato salad. I cut up the potatoes, washed them and everything. And now they in the pot with the eggs. And we're about to let them cook. I got my egg all cut up and seasoning with pepper and salt. And I'm waiting on about three more potatoes to get ready. Probably about five more minutes. And then I'm gonna go ahead and prep this potato salad. So y'all stick around if y'all wanna see what else I'm cooking to go with this potato salad. The potato salad is ready. I'm about to put the lid on it and set it in the freezer so it can get a good chill on it for this evening. 
I don't have no ingredients for my potato salad. All y'all know is potatoes and the eggs. Uh, everything else is my little secret recipe. But everybody say my potato salad is really, really good. So I must be doing something right. So um, I'm gonna call y'all back. So right here I got some chicken legs and some chicken thighs already seasoned. I got my um, air fryer liners and I'm about to put it in the air fryer. So we're about to have us some barbecue chicken. Let me go and put it in the air fryer right quick. That's how the air fryer uh, liners look. Two thighs and two legs. I'm not gonna put it on air fryer. I'm gonna put it on bake. So I got on bake for 30 minutes. And if it need more time, I just turn it up. And if it need less time, I just take it out when it's ready. So that's how it's looking again. Ran out, I'm about to add some barbecue sauce. And then I'm gonna let it run for about five more minutes and it should be ready. And this is how the chicken is looking. I put foil paper down in one of my um, little square pan. And now I'm about to finish letting it cook and move on to the next. Now I'm about to open these bushes, brown sugar, hickory, baked beans. And I put some foil paper down in this round pan. The pans are clean, but I haven't had a chance to rewash them while I've been in this truck. So that's why I am putting foil down and putting everything down on top of the foil. And this is the foil that I'm using. I have one piece of foil left. I just took it out the pack and put it up in the cabinet. But yeah, let me open these beans. And I'm going to call you guys back once everything get ready and plated. Well, I thought I wasn't going to bring y'all back on here. But I added sugar and the barbecue sauce to the beans. I opened the can with this raggedy ass can open. I'm gonna have to get my can open from the house. That good red one I got at the house. I need one like that in this truck. This one is a um, fairway, I think. The thing ain't faded off, but this can opener ain't worth it. But yeah, this is the sugar. And I'm about to put the beans in the air fryer. Oh yeah, this is how the um, chicken looking so far. I'm about to flip it and put barbecue sauce on the other side. I got this last piece of foil paper that I told y'all about. And I got this parquet butter spray. And two pieces of light bread. One for me and one for hubs. And I'm about to put it in the air fryer so we can have us some toast. I'm going to put it on air fryer for about two or three minutes. I'm going to put it on air crisp. Everything is ready. We got the toast. The barbecue baked beans the chicken and the potato salad so don't y'all tell me you cannot cook you no good meal while you out here on this road trucking i got hubs a dr pepper and i got me a pepsi so i'm about to plate our food and i'll probably show you um how it look plated so i'll be right back so i got hubs plated all ready to go Everything I just told y'all, I put it on his plate. I'm about to give him his plate and then I'm gonna come back and fix mine. Hey y'all, we in Punta, Florida. If I didn't tell you guys earlier, at the pilot in Punta, Florida. What time is it? It's 6.45 and we're heading to the showers. I'm going to call y'all back once I get inside the shower room. Shower room. We're looking for shower number two. Should be up front. Let's go around this corner. Hello, two right there. Enjoy your shower. Put in the cold. I lock the door. And here we have it. Thank you, sir. Hang on the door right there. I'm gonna get all my stuff out. Thank you, sir. I'll call you. So I'm in the shower. If y'all wanna see how these shower rooms be looking, if I don't forget, I will leave a video down below so y'all can just click that video, click the link, and watch the video. Check out all the different um, showers at the pilot, the lugs. And leave me a comment let me know how you like it. But, that's my shower bag. They left some shower towels. 
I got my own. I do not use theirs. So I'm about to um, go ahead and take my shower so I can get up out of here. We are heading back to the truck. We took our showers. We are oh so fresh. So fresh and so clean, clean. Call y'all back if we got anything else going on. Hey y'all, it is the next morning. At what time is it? Sound like I got an echo with these things in my ear. Huh? It is seven fifty one in the morning and we are at the same place, the pilot. Um we got a load to pick up today which is like fifty miles away. But first we gotta go get a truck washout. Washout. We gotta go get a trailer washout. I can't remember where we're picking that load up at. But that's probably not gonna be a part of this video anyways. But um Y'all yeah, seen last night that we uh, took our showers and stuff. And um, last night was a good night. I've been up since probably about um, before five o'clock this morning. Hub just not getting up. He probably finna get ready to find him something to eat or he gonna wait till I fix him something to eat. <laughs> but um, I was just popping you guys back on let you know what we had going on for this morning so yeah i'm probably finna end the video right here because i don't want y'all tagging along with us for too long but i do appreciate y'all for um joining us and coming along with us this far in the video so if you made it to this part of the video i appreciate you for appreciating me keep coming back and watching my videos thank you thank you thank you see you in the next one bye